Hey friends, in this video we're going to take a look at the Dash, the offline documentation browser. So it's jam-packed with features, so we're not going to go through everything, but I just want to show you some of the features I really like. So in the new version 6.04, if I remember correctly, then um, the navigation here has been redesigned. So if you don't have any tabs, then there are no tabs, so that's nice. It's not taking up too much space. and um, I mostly use it to look up stuff in, for example, JavaScript APIs. Let's say I want to look up uh, something in the fetch API. I'll just write fetch and then go in there, look at it. Or let's say I wanted to look at the window, then go there. And let's actually head on over here to full screen. So you can see Dash has sections here on the left hand side. Isn't that nice? So you can jump between. So for example, let's say if we wanted to look at CSS and um, what we're interested in is a flex. Let's see, is there any guide on flex? So we can see this one, mastering wrapping of flex sections. So you read, you can click the sides, or you can bookmark, that's also nice. You add a bookmark, and you can see I already have a few bookmarks here from before, like a CSS reference. So I can go through and just find stuff. Let's say, for example, I want to look up grid. You can also search in the current page. So let's click grid. So one thing that's really sweet is that um, Dash uses doc sets, which is basically just a collection of HTML files and the documentation you have available offline isn't some like some fake gimmick. It's actually the documentation from the project. So let's take a look at the doc set. So you can see here you can um, download doc sets. So let's on, head on over here and see that um, you have a bunch of uh, options available from the main doc sets. And I think this is maintained by the developer. Also special thanks to the developer for giving me a free license after asking about for it. So thanks. You also have something called cheat sheets. So they're not doc sets, but they're more smaller, more compact topical. So let's say for example, you wanted to uh, have something on jQuery. If you are using jQuery, you could find a cheat sheet on that. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna download it. And there's also user contributed uh, doc sets. So these are maintained outside. So you can see there's one for Atom. Let's go there. So you will find documentation for uh, languages, uh, libraries, frameworks, and uh, tools and so on. So it's very useful. Um, look here, for example, here's a Ruby package called Anki, which I downloaded. I'm not really using the PHP doc sets, um, but you could, if you're, let's say, working on WordPress, you could go and download the WordPress documentation, which I have to read from time to time for my part-time job. So, and another really cool thing is you can actually download uh, Stack Overflow offline. So you can uh, have lots of questions. So basically a question bank for any topic related to the language or framework you're learning. So, um, Let's see if there's one on Vue.js, is there? Yeah, so you <laughs> imagine downloading this. Uh, yeah, We're, actually let's pick the, um, the online one. You see it's that the online one isn't that big, so you can still search it and have everything in Dash. And you can also download GitHub repositories. So very sweet. Um, so let's look at some other usage. So you could, uh, let's say you're learning, for example, the Rust programming language. Imagine having the documentation all available here. You can just go through, you can read, learn, and everything is working navigation wise. So you can stay in here. You can um, learn. And Dash also has something called um, snippets. So you can see, I, I'm a fan of the Bulma CSS frameworks. So I have. Uh, this snippet whenever I'm prototyping stuff, so I can just copy this and then start using it, right? So just to quickly have some piece of code so you can create snippets and um, I'm not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna create any new snippet now, but just to show you, you could create it here and then you could share it with, um, I think you can share it with your team because Dash has, um, you can have an account and then have a team and so on. But I haven't really used that feature. I've been mostly using Dash alone. 
So this is very, very cool too. And uh, if you're learning to code, I would definitely recommend uh, getting this. If you're not on macOS, because this is a macOS uh, product, you might find uh, other tools. I've, uh, I've been using Velocity, which also supports, um, I think, the doc sets. I, I use it just a little bit, not as much as Dash, because Dash is, yeah, is amazing. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's take a quick look at... Uh, HTML here just to show you that let's say for example um, in Notion to Anki we're using the toggle list right so you can see that's the details in the HTML um, spec and uh, we can read about it here let's say I want to reference this I can go ahead and bookmark it and then come back to it later I think you should also be able to switch between dark and light it doesn't look like it's working here but I've seen people use it and uh, yeah, you could also uh, create annotations if there's something wrong with the documentation and comment on it publicly, or you could uh, comment it internally in your team. Yeah, so that's Dash. Uh, when you start using Dash, you get a free trial and then uh, you'll need to upgrade either to a license or you see this timer, so it times you out. Uh, I've been using it for uh, a few years and I'm very happy with Dash. Uh, I remember back in the day when I was um, traveling a lot to um, for work and so on, I would just sit on the airplane and read documentation for hours. So it's, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite developers tools. And um, let me know um, if you are already using Dash, if you are checking it out. And uh, I look forward to uh, using Dash even more. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.